As a queen, her subjects loved her. She fortified her cities and secured people from their enemies and the wild animals. She further asserted her power by conquering other kingdoms. She laid roads through some of the roughest terrains and linked the cities that her husband had founded. She diverted even the mighty river Euphrates to flood the dry lands for irrigation. She was also very knowledgeable. She knew architecture, astrology, medicine, magic and alchemy. And yet God hated her and still does, but why? It was a few centuries after the great flood of Noah. Noah's great-grandson, King Nimrod, turned the hearts of the people against God. One day he came across a beautiful warrior named Semiramis and was impressed by her skills. He married her. Soon after that he was murdered and Semiramis became the queen. Later she became pregnant and told her subjects that her husband Nimrod has now become the sun god and he impregnated her through his rays. She also claimed that the baby in her womb was the reincarnation of Nimrod himself. With Nimrod elevated to the status of god and Semiramis carrying his reincarnation, she proclaimed herself the mother of God and created a false religion around that myth. Semiramis is the one who was building the Tower of Babel, which was a temple structure which displaced God. He scattered the people by confusing their languages. That didn't stop the people from worshipping Semiramis. The worship continued in their new lands too. Only they call Semiramis with different names due to the confusion of languages. Before Abraham left the city of Ur, she was there. When he arrived in Canaan, she was there. When the children of Israel went to Egypt, she was being worshipped there. When they reached the promised land, once again she led astray the children of Israel. She was there in Babylon during their captivity and Apostle Paul faced her in Ephesus. Rome knew her by the name Venus. She was the mother goddess of the pagan world. In the 4th century, the Roman Empire and Russia became Christian. From then on, her influence had been greatly reduced. However, in the 12th century, there was a group of powerful men that moved out of Babylon, came to Europe and established a monetary system there. When America was founded, they came there too to establish their banks. As time went on, they launched into other businesses such as newspapers, publishing houses, theaters, silent movies, radio stations, music industry, cinema and television. Through all this media, they channeled and molded the minds of the people into what they are today. Because of this subtle propaganda, Semiramis is alive and well, not only in the USA, but all over the world once again. But the Bible predicts that this mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth will be utterly destroyed before the soon coming return of Jesus Christ.